Okay, and welcome back, everybody. Literally right where we left off. We're waiting. We're waiting for gold. That's about it. Let's keep doing it. Maybe there's a little uh, inner inner stuff we can do. Earl of Dunham. What are the, the touchies? Okay, that's part of Northumbria. Can't really do anything here. Duke Wigliff. Andres. Our Aster Leonese. <laughs> Vassal. Still don't know how he got here, to be honest. I guess our our uncle just gave him land. Duchess Siaberg. Sia Siaxber. Or Osric's daughter. Huh. Okay. Oh, an adulterer, schemer, torturer. And his albino wife. Wow. Quite the pair here. Quite the terrifying pair here. The absolute unit, Duke Rickett, Dumnarthson. He's got two duchies. If he has another kid, oh, an albino child. If he has another kid, that'll break up again. That'd be. I wonder if taking Ireland is going to be enough land to form the in the empire. I feel like it should be. Oh. Speaking of Philip, he's dead. Killed him and his wow peasants stormed his castle and killed him and his son. Left his wife alive though. With that, Duke Udif is quite the duke now. Well, that's tragic. Not for Duke Udif though. Okay. He's got a yeah. He's got three whole duchies now. Look at that. In a good position. But as long as he pays his taxes, gives us his levies, I don't really. Talk to the figurehead now. All of our, all of our, our Reeves should love us. Yep, yep. Plus fifty. Oh no, popular opinion. Sorry, I'm thinking of the old game. Popular opinion is our, our. Counties. So all of our counties love us. Oh, that's actually really strong. That offsets basically all the negatives I've seen. Counties not liking it. Okay, got a little bit of. Oh no! We're on death's doorstep. Oh, okay. Well, I really hope. I really hope this wound goes away soon. Oh, oh no! Oh no! Oh, we're so close. We're so close. We just need to make a little bit more money. A few more months. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh! Woo! Coming in clutch. Thank you, Vinwat. Vinwat. What? Hopefully that gives us a few more years at least. Oh my god. We've been burdened with your oppressive laws for far too long. Peasant revolt? Never. Rally the troops. What do you think you can do against me? Seriously, you are severely outnumbered, man. <laughs> oh, it's cool. I actually raised up two armies. Gotta say, these peasants do not seem like a big deal. At all. <laughs> don't even know why they rose up, to be honest. They should love us. Worst demands. Secret exposed. Simple truth. My vassal Reeve has an affair with Chancellor Duchess. Oh no. Crime cannot be go, go unpunished. She is an adulterer. That is a sin in the eyes of God and a drunkard. Sorry. I could. No. She will pay her dues. She'll pay her dues. She'll pay her dues. A few years in the, the dungeon, or in house arrest, and then we'll let her out. Duchy of Augsburg, Lollardy. No, not for us. Was our chancellor, so we'll get a new one. Andres of East Anglia? Sure. That'll do, I guess. 
Its writing is now Catholic. Oh, not what I meant. Bert Faith? Working. From East Riding to West Riding. One more month. One more month. Oh. There we go. And with that, decision two. Cayman Island. What? What? Oh, the Pope needs to like us. Oh, no. How do you not like us? Oh, no. Oh, no. The Pope doesn't like us that much. We're a devoted servant. How do we get you to like us? Oh, I, I should have read that more. Send a gift? Oh, we could send him a huge gift. I guess that's our backup. If, if we, uh, we need to do it. How much is it for indulgences? I guess we're going to start swaying the Pope. Can our, can our religious relations? Catholic theocratic ruler opinion. It's not that much, to be honest. Some, oh, well, we just ransomed. Oh, I guess we ransomed the, the child. That's fine. Ransomed the child. Like, I'm too busy. Oh, I don't know if I can wound myself. I'm the king. I can do this. I can do this. With singular focus. They're Anglo Saxon. That was very quick. I think the Cornish can go, to be honest. Yeah. Even the Cornish house here has become Anglo Saxon. Oh, that's Shulk. Like it was converted. Cheshire is insular. Yeah. You know what? Desperate times call for desperate measures. We need, we need to empty the prisons. Mass ransom. Anyone. Anyone. We need the money. Thank you. All debts will be paid. Okay. Well, some people are paying zero. Oh, oh no. I didn't know this would happen. Uh, oh no. <laughs> oh no. I didn't like that. Got some money at least. Okay. That was a bit of a loophole. I think some people just got out with. Good light to present to us. My Lord, pray tell who's the most pious person. The Pope, without a doubt. Oh no. Oh, he did not like that. He did not like that. Irritated the Pope. No. Doesn't like that we're trying to sway him. I guess that makes sense. Opinion. Well, let's wait till we have enough money to do both at the same time. We'll go up to five speed real quick. Perk. Invited attention. More domain limit. Not like we really need it. I'm not. I'm probably not going to be taking anything from anyone. There we go. Comfort of a friend. Oh, my sister. Thank you so much, fair sister. Who never had a child. Okay. I'm sorry about that. Maybe you never wanted one, you know? You do you. You do you. Not Aylord talking this. Aylord would be standing chill. We will send a tithe. Oh. What? 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 What's happening? Why can't I send him more money? No! I would I would gladly give all the money you needed. What? What happened? Oh, it's a different pope. Oh, it's a different pope. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. What happened to the last one? Still don't know how to look at the history. Oh, got to be kidding me. Got to be kidding me. Do seeking indulgences make me like him? Or make him like me? It does. I guess we can do that don't need that much more 
we could do. We could switch, switch to a foreign affairs focus. Fine, we can switch our counselor to raising religious relations. Scandal. Oh. What a scandal. Ooh, what a scandal. Crusader Kings! Okay, the Crusades just got called. That is a big deal. I don't know why they got called. Probably some heresy is getting a little too close to the Pope. Yeah, that's probably why. They're about to get smited. Oh, we're very close. We're very close. If we got Paragon of Virtue, that would push us over. If we'll prepare for war. I pledge, I pledge my warriors to your fight. Oh, we gained a level of devotion. Oh, that's perfect. That's exactly what we needed. We are now a Paragon of Virtue. Which is amazing. Decisions. Quest to claim on Ireland. If the Holy See sanctions a campaign against the barbarous tribes of Ireland, all of the British Idol Isles could become ours to rule. Petition the papacy. Laudably, we declare your desire to extend the sacred dominion of the universal church to the barbarous tribes of Ireland is a pious and righteous cause. As such, the Holy Roman Church commands that you take possession of this island and therein execute God's will. If you were to pass on by some misfortune before the end of this holy campaign, we extend the sacred mandate to your rightful successors. May House Wessex carry this holy endeavor in perpetuity until the divine will has been realized and Ireland lays united under Anglo-Saxon rule. House Wessex gains Lord Abilitor. The Holy See has sanctioned this family's claim over Ireland. Repair our fleet. Yes. Yes. We've got quite the war ahead of us. Allied with my vassal. But we can do it. This is it. Final countdown. Oh, but you know what? We need to get ready for the crusade. Death to his part. <gasps> How can a heart endure with this kind of pain without breaking? It cannot be possible. Yet here I am, my heart beating on while Seuss has gone quiet. Oh, Bjortgith, my little firebrand. Life will not be the same without you. At least the memories remain. I hope you find peace, Bjortgith. I hope you find peace. Night of natural causes. One out. Or one out for our wife. She was fantastic. Not care about you, Edelheid. I will not remarry. Oh. I think I just... I think I just declined a call to arms. Yeah, I yeah, I definitely did. Whoops. I hate when I Oh, we're gonna have to go to war for Jerusalem, aren't we? My beneficiary, who should it be? My brother? Well, my youngest brother? You know what? Yes. You know what? I think so. Youngest brother. Sure. You're not in line to inherit any of my land. For now. And our poor middle brother lost his life. Died from his wounds. So, sure. Crusade for Jerusalem. Deus Walt. Raise the levies. First time it's happened, I barely even gave it a moment's notice. But my vassal Duchess Saxburg has grown bolder. Challenge is no longer passed unnoticed among my vassals. She's testing my limits. The others are sure to follow unless I give her a taste of her own medicine. Oh, this is my diplomacy lifestyle. Okay. We'll ignore her and steal her ideas. Mocking her foolishness will shut her up. All problems will be blamed on her. How dare you challenge your king! We will... Oh, wow. I don't like any of these. What would we do? Gregarious, zealous, diligent. Gawk her foolishness. We'll joke with her. We'll joke about her. What is this? Oh, okay. He's still my vassal. That's all that matters. To the Holy Lands! To the Holy Lands! Cruel, but perhaps. But it had to be done. My side comments about Duchess Saxford's unrestrained emotions... Gotten to her. Okay. 
I feel bad. I'm sorry. Got a manipulation hook on her. Ooh. Don't need to spay the Pope anymore. We're on four. We're on five speed. Oh, way too fast here. Siege this down as quickly as possible. And there he goes. He made it to the Holy Land and then died. King Ethelred of England rests in the arms of the Lord at 60 years of age. He died of old age. Known to be an exceptional strategist, he spent many of his days examining fields and drilling his troops. King Alfred, Ethelred, son of England, ascends to the throne. Having mastered many skills, he's sure to be admired by his subjects. Quite a learned man. Continue as King Alfred. I say a prayer for my father. He was a great man, a holy warrior, the uniter of England. And I will carry on what he started. But first, the Holy Land. I know Norbert is our guy. He's our boy. But I think we need to start off strong by leading the troops ourselves. My brother is my new heir. That's fine by me. We have no lifestyle chosen. I think we're going to go learning. Scholar. Scholar King. Yes, I like that a lot. Wards get additional skills and can become your friends. Culture fascin cultural fascin uh, fascination progress. Oh, that's actually really nice. And open-minded, different culture opinion or negative culture opinion. Okay, we, we're not as hateful of the other cultures as our father and grandfather were. We're, we're a little bit more... <laughs> we're newer, we're more progressive. Oh, we may have beaten everybody else here. It's looking like we might get in a big battle by ourselves. Oh, no. Okay. The new dynasty. Oh, I'm not the dynasty head? No, I am. I think for like just a second it became wiggly. Greetings, my modest liege. Culture in Cornwall changed. Oh, Saxon. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, we lose decisively. No beneficiary. It's going to be my uncle. Nominate my successor. My successor will be my brother, Prince Bjorn. Cast a vote for him. For now. Primary heir of the wrong dynasty. That's fine. York's gift. My sister, Mary. Sister and friend. One for alliance power here. Frankia. Do it again. Quite old. Was she married to the last king? I think she was. And I think she... I think he was... M yeah. Okay. Her her child got murdered. We'll, we'll marry her to another East Frankian and see what happens. Whoa. Okay. So we're being obliterated right away here. I wonder why... Proposal, proposal, calling us into a war. I accept. Okay, okay, this went horribly. This went really badly. Oh my god! We lost so many people. Our scholar king should not have done what he did. Okay, okay, we're starting off a little dumb. Oh my god. This enemy is something like we've never fought before. 4,000 men lost. That is a tragedy. I think for the good of our people, we need to go home. Yes, I don't know. we're disbanding. Good of everyone here. We didn't even become a crusader. We aren't really a crusader. I think we've we've shed enough blood for the Pope. We're not nearly as pious. Excuse me, as our as our father was. We're going home. 
Wow. For the new dynasty head. So what? What are we? What are we fascinated with? Mustering grounds. Okay, that's fine. Of this priest. Catholic world was appalled to learn Pope Benedictus himself? Giving a list of all who ever wronged him, detailing the numerous ways he plans to get back at them and satisfy his lust for revenge. Pope. Huh. They, uh, hmm. I think we must condemn him. When well, the Pope becomes our rival, maybe we should stay silent about I think we care enough. Especially after the, the windfall that just happened in Jerusalem. Well, that was... That was sobering. That was a sobering experience that just happened to us. We're gonna have to wait a while until we go to war with Alba. Sit back and learn, I think. I think that's what we have to do. We have to learn from our mistakes here. They can help. Help and count. Faith opinion. Version cost. Scholarly circles. Ooh, wow. Oh, that's really awesome. We can make ourselves a really strong. We could really bump our stats stats up with that. Wow. Looks like our vassals don't like us as much as they liked our father. That makes sense. We're, we're new. Yeah, they're definitely lower across the board. Still not bad, though. Contribution is first rank because we lost so many people. Oh, my lord. Uh... <laughs> We may stay that if the war doesn't get any uh, that much bloodier. <laughs> uh, is there a war going on here? Oh, no. He, he's just in the crusade with us. I'm going to pump it up to five speed. I left the war. Left the crusade. Experienced fighter. You know what? Be one of our knights. Yes, you can. Cousin Duke Wiglif. Kirk. Land cultivation here. Our guy. Moment growing a lot from far from home. Strangers brought before me. He's been waiting outside the castle gates for weeks. For a week, my liege, my guard informs me. The man bows deeply. My name is Ravinda, your highness. I've traveled far and wide and seen many things, but my family and I are weary of the road. If you allow us to say, I will happily share my knowledge of the world with you and be servant. Huh. This is a man my father would have turned away in a heartbeat. I want to learn. I want to learn from him. I want to learn for you, from you, Ravender. And you can keep your faith. Keep your faith. Tell us. Tell us of these... This Vaishnavism and your Kashmiri culture. Kashmiri culture is actually ahead of ours. Wow. Do not say... A victorious crusade, St. George has granted King Alfred. Wow, you're kidding me. King Alfred of Wessex, victory in the crusade for Jerusalem after defeating Ir Muhammad, Emir Muhammad. 
and his heathen warriors on several occasions. Our warriors forced the enemies of the faith to admit their ignominious defeat. The occupied lands firmly under the leadership of, pious, of a pious Catholic ruler, our uncle. We can rest assured that the divine will of St. George has been enacted. This is a glorious day for all true followers of the cross. A new kingdom. Oh. Wonder what kind of ruler he'll be. No. Time to focus back on my realm. One. Oh, good. Uh, our other war. <laughs> the end of the crusade. Earning you a bunch of money, a bunch of piety, a bunch of prestige. Solacism's fervor went down. Turidism up. Wow. Our brother. <laughs> Our brother is the king of Jerusalem. The Pope took pity on the massacre at Gaza and gave our brother the highest comfort eater. Wow, the highest goal. I was sent a beautiful piece of large embroidery replicating my house crest in vibrant colors. It would make a perfect mantelpiece in my chambers. While the gift was anonymous, Sueta has gone to great lengths to make sure that I would figure out that she did. Aw. Ravender's wife. Craftsmanship will undoubtedly impress. Wow! You get some Kashmiri uh, embroidery as well. I very interesting. I have, man, I like this. I like this man of the world that we have here. Also, our troops are almost back in full strength. Might be time for war. Oh, never mind. He's allied to East Francia, like we are. East Francia joined him. Will he join us? Can we not declare a war for the whole... We can't declare a war for the whole kingdom, can we? Guess we can't. Wow. Well, uh, is Ravinder one of our knights? Wow, he is. You see this guy going to battle in Britain, what do you think? Ravinder Miracur, fearless lackey. Diligent, ambitious, generous. So cool. So very cool. But with that, I think we're going to have to end it here a little bit early. I don't see anything else that we could be doing in the next three minutes. And I got to get going to work, unfortunately. Thank you for joining us. I think we have a very interesting and different Alfred here to keep leading us. Uh, we don't have too much more to do. I think if we, I think my end goal here is to conquer the rest of Britannia. It looks like there's not even many more Norse Sasatrus to get rid of. I don't even know if Alfred really carries the same hatred that his grandfather did. But thanks for joining us. Remember to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Alfred continued his life as the new king of England, uh, rejecting romantic advances and studying anything that he could get his hands on. Alfred voraciously soaked up all the knowledge he could from anywhere. But he was running into stopgaps. Alfred soon learned that his quest for knowledge was seen as somewhat heretical from the clergy. A group of heretics had risen up in Champagne and had caught Alfred's attention. Is this what he was searching for? Could he reach the heights of knowledge that man could only ever dream of? Unfortunately, the Waldensians didn't appreciate learning as much as he'd like. But inspired by them, he had an idea. The last living son of Aethelred of England started studying theology, but with a unique twist. Inspired by his foreign courtiers and his learnings on theology, Alfred started deciphering the scriptures in a different way. After a quick war with Alba for Dublin, Alfred finally codified his new religion as esotericlericalism. His new branch of Christianity sort of mixed old Western philosophy and some Eastern mysticism in order for his disciples to get closer and learn more about God and the divine. Alfred also saw throughout his time with his wife that women were just as capable as men were at most things. And so this new religion boldens their place, not only in the clergy, but in the secular world as well. Alfred was such a learned and well-spoken man that he swayed every single one of his vassals to join him as he converted, and England was bathed in esoteric clericalism. Alfred had officially split from the Catholic Church in Italy, and with him and his new head of faith, Pope Judith, 
a new era of esoteric clericalism would rise. And that's it for our Let's Play of Alfred the Average. We've come through three generations. We've formed a new religion, and we've taken the kingdom of England. Seems like a good stopping point. Thank you all so much for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe. I've got a great new series coming up next. It'll come out tomorrow. Hope to see you there. Bye.